Say hey YouTube. Say hey YouTube. Oh, we got all the cuteness on YouTube. Say hey YouTube. YouTube, what's going on? Just pull up at the crib, man. Just had to just reflect for a second, man. God is good, man. Got my wife, got my kids. Hey. God is good, man. Hopefully everybody's doing all right. Say hey. It's a little chilly outside. Say hey, YouTube. Say hey, YouTube. Oh, we got all the cuteness on YouTube. Say hey, YouTube. <laughs> Say hey, you two. Yeah, man, the pay for runner. The pay for runner. Just getting home from work, man. My daughter back here sleep. Let me get her out of here. Got to head over to Bible study, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love how the doors go up, man. You got to appreciate. You got to say thank you. You got to say thank you, Lord, for everything, man. You can't never get too up on yourself. You gotta know where all your blessings come from. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, little mama back here sleep. Little mama. Unbuckle this seat belt. Hey, sweetie. I got you. I got you. Y'all know this right here. You gotta carry your baby in. She a little sleepy. I'm gonna sit you. Let me stand you up or lay you down. All right, here we go. On three. One, two, three. All right, now go back outside, get your stuff out. Yeah, man, just another day, man. Blessed, living blessed, man. And just know you can do anything, man. You can. You that's listening, watching this video, man, there's nothing that you can't accomplish, man. And I'm not just talking about cars and trucks and homes and stuff like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about what goals you have right in front of you right now. You can accomplish that goal, man. And we got to understand, we got to have realistic goals too. You know what I mean? Realistic goals. Start with those realistic goals, those things that you can do right now. Right now. What can you accomplish right now? Put it on paper. You need to have it on paper. You need to have a list so you can start marking things off your list that you accomplished, man. You know, I know for, for us, you know, when we was coming out of debt, you know, like part of the Dave Ramsey plan, you know, you write a list down of all your debt. And, you know, with, with that list, writing down all your debt, man, as we knocked out one, we knocked out a second. So you got a list of six, seven different things. And it's like, wow, I'm making an accomplishment, especially when you get down, you get frustrated or you get tired. You can go back to that list and say, look, man, we knocked out three debts already this year. So let's keep pushing, man. So don't quit, y'all. I need y'all to hear this again. Don't quit. Keep pushing. Make that list, man. Come out of debt. Get back in school. Hey, go back to school for a trade. You don't have to go to school for four years or six years or eight years, man. Get you get you a certification, man. You can come up, man. So when you start making all the money, you got to be able to keep the money. You know what I mean? When you want to get you a house, you got to know how to have your stuff laid out so you don't get disapproved for that house. You know what I mean? And whatever I can do to help you, I'll help you. Y'all know I'm big on the Every Dollar app with Dave Ramsey, man. I'm all about structuring your debt structuring your monthly budget what's coming in and where it's going being strategic with your money where it's going every month where are your dollars going man where's every dollar going one of my keys to success man so you can make all the money you want but you got to be able to structure that thing man you got to better have you know parameters in place man so you don't start overspending i'm guilty of that man i'm guilty of that man i'm just spending got money coming in and money going out man couple years ago all that changed man when we start doing that day rounds man it changed the whole game up you need to know what's coming in and you need to know what's going out and it's better that way because you you'll find out that you got more than you thought you had when you have a plan you know exactly when you can get that car you know exactly when you can get that house you know exactly when you can go to disney you know exactly when you can pay off that student loan all those things when you know what's coming in and you know what's going out, you can plan and prioritize so much better, man. And you will find that you got more than you think you got, man. That's what I'm all about, man. I'm all about helping y'all, man. I want y'all to stay encouraged. You know what I'm saying? Stay blessed. But more importantly, stay encouraged, man. Don't stay down. You get knocked down, you got to get back up. 
And man, with all this stuff that's been going on lately, man, people passing and all of that, man, I've been knocked down. Kobe passed, got knocked all the way down, all the way down. But I'm not gonna stay down. I got to stay up, baby. I got people counting on me in this house right here. I got people counting on me on the other side of this camera. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna be here for y'all, man. Y'all be there for me. Love y'all. And you know what we do around here. We swipe up for my daughter. And then I'm gonna get ready to go to Bible study. I ain't got some room in it, man. My daughter sit back there with no problem. She a kindergartner. I don't know if that make a difference. Look at this door go down. Bam. Gotta love that. I'm ready to see y'all stuff. I'm excited for y'all. I'm excited for y'all, man. Close it down. Close it down. Boom. Love that. So we're going to go ahead and get changed. Presto change over real quick. Hey, look, y'all. I know y'all got money and y'all fancy and all of that. But look. Look at this right here. Tutti Fruities. Tutti Fruities. They call Tutti Fruities, man. We got them done from Walmart, man. Big old bag of cereal. Man, they taste just like, don't they taste just like Fruit Loops? Natty, do they taste just like Fruit Loops? Do they, do they taste just like Fruit Loops? Yes. I'm trying to help y'all save money, man. I'm trying to help y'all come up, man. <laughs> but we must admit. Admit. We initially purchased them. Yeah. For a school project. I we don't want to wait. I, I, I wasn't going to tell that. I, I was going to come on here and act like I'm frugal and I know how to save money and that I prefer the Tutti Fruities over the Fruit Loops. So now I've been busted. I've been revealed that we bought them because of a 100 day school project that my daughter had. And it just made more sense to use Tutti Fruities instead of using, you know, it's a little more expensive uh, Fruit Loops. But, but they're the bomb. Through discovery of working on a project and eating a few, being hungry, we found out that they were very tasty. And we done bust that bag all the way down to E1. If you don't know what that means, ask a friend of yours in the military what that term means. Look at that. The bag is busted down to E1. All the way down to E1. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Welcome to my crib. We vlogging, baby. So I want to show y'all the life, man. That's just one of them real things in life, man. Fruity Loops. No. That, uh, that Fruity Loops? Fruit, Tutti Fruities. I'm sorry. Tutti Fruities. If y'all hear me, y'all need a sponsor for some cheap cereal, I can be your sponsor. I got a red sweater on with a red bag, and I'll tell you how good they are. And I'll put my kids on there and let them bite a few of them and tell you how good they are, too. We'll tell America how good the Tutti Fruities, right? Tutti Fruities, yeah. Tutti Fruities, man. They the best. Look, you got to pay me first, and I, I'll go all in for you. But look, let me hurry up and get something to eat before Bible study real quick, man. And I'll get back with y'all, man. Y'all know what we do around here. What we do around here, Kwan? Swipe up. All right, we're back in the spaceship. Yeah, with the Bible study. Or the spaceship. Man, straight cockpit, man. Like you in an aerial plane. Y'all ever been in an aerial plane before? And what's crazy, y'all, man, I literally just had uh maintenance done on the ride man and check engine light came on and it gives you a sign you know, if it says you should drive it or shouldn't drive or whatever so it gave me the the little sign that said uh you know check whatever whatever um it, it's okay to drive dot 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 and that could just be a, a bmw code or something but i literally just got it back from the uh dealership um because it was making this buzzing sound um with the fan when you cut the fan on the side of the car or whatever, just a little a light buzzing sound. It's not supposed to be there, so that's why you take it in to get it get it fixed. So, when not expect, day or two later, check the engine light come on, you know what I mean? But it's all good. She's on the factory warranty. So we're gonna take it back to be on W ASAP. But I'm taking myself to the good old church house. Bible study, man. Hope y'all are enjoying the vlogs each week man and definitely want y'all to subscribe so please 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 subscribe man we love y'all man and make sure you hit that bell that notification bell you know what i'm saying so you can be notified every time we load a video man that's what it is going on people we are here at the good old church house and we did uh believing boards tonight let me show y'all the boards 
y'all know what believing boards are, man. That's like you put all your, your vision and your dreams and stuff down, things you want to accomplish like this year. You put it on a piece of paper, you put it on a board, and it's called a believing board or a vision board. So that's what we did tonight, man. All the people are up in here, as you can see. We use our church gym for the spot to get it done tonight. You know what I mean? So. I'm about to go hop in the spaceship after we clean up, pack the tables up, all that good stuff. Y'all know how it go. Hey, uh, I'm in Fayetteville, North Carolina with my boy Eric, driving a BMW i8. He got some uh, dope stuff on, on his channel, so subscribe. I think you should. See y'all later.